After getting tired of waiting for my 5x6 band saw to finish a cut and seeing one of these 7x12 saws in action, I decided to finally pick one up. And uh, I looked at all of them. They all look like they're a slightly different version of the same thing, so I bought the cheapest one. The Harbor Freight was 630 or so dollars. And um, unfortunately, the first one I got home was smashed. The second one was in good condition. And uh, I was surprised when I opened it up that it was a bit different than the one on the display and the one that they have online. Mostly in good ways. But first off, the controls for the saw are up on top here for the start, stop, and the coolant. Instead of all the way down here on the bottom, which is a bit awkward. The, uh, the coolant hose is now one of these linked coolant hoses instead of just a bent piece of copper I think it was before. The cover for the belts metal now instead of plastic the old one was a bit flimsy the coolant reservoir is metal now instead of plastic I haven't tried it yet because my saw my shop doesn't have consistent heat and I'm not sure how to handle that and uh, one of the biggest things I like is they put a micro switch back here to shut the saw off when it finishes the cut Instead of being just a, a bent piece of metal down the bottom here with the uh, with the on off switch, a couple of things I didn't like was the jaw for the uh, for the vise isn't quick movable anymore. The old one you could turn it a quarter of a turn and slide it back and forth. This one doesn't do that, and this wasn't really a big deal to fix. The, uh, the hydraulic cylinder, the controls are on the bottom, so they were awkward to get to. I just flipped it 180 and then I had to turn the, um, the on and off 90 degrees so it wouldn't hit the, uh, hit the knob there. Um, other than that, the knobs are kind of cheap, crappy plastic. I don't know if they're going to last, but I guess we'll see. Worst case, I'll make a couple of new ones. All in all, I'm pleased. It cuts well. It cuts square out of the box. And unbelievably, the, uh, the, the blade claims to be bimetal and actually cuts pretty good after several cuts. It's still sharp, although I'm sure it's not going to last long, so I bought some better blades. Other than that, I'm uh, in those couple of things. I'm happy, and I think it was a good purchase and a big upgrade. Thanks for watching.